<laughs> Stick of the obvious joke. Some people have teddy bears. I have my backpack. But yeah, the backpack's not there to make me feel better. It's got my car keys, my wallet, extra flashlights, and all that nonsense. Man, oops, look how far back this little tube goes. Wow. It's only like three inches high, eight inches wide, but it curves up and around dozens of inches long, at least a yard long. I keep mixing units, inches. Whoa, I didn't mean to bump those spiders. I didn't touch them, but they felt the light. Whoops, I'm not trying to bug the bugs. <laughs> it's like eye for eye punishment, bugging the bugs. But yeah, seriously, I'm not trying to damn mess with the wildlife. But I do want to get it on camera. It's like Disneyland, man. Picks where it didn't happen. Hang on a second. There we go. flashlight's pretty well behaved at least so earlier I had a flashlight it kept flickering switching modes otherwise being annoying it's one of the reasons I shoot two videos one clockwise one clock counterclockwise one at 5k p30 and one at 4k p60 let the viewers decide what they like Feel free to give a thumb up or thumb down or comment. All my videos I allow comments. So if you got something to say, go ahead and say it. I've only deleted a few comments that were like really nasty. But yeah, mostly I believe in freedom of speech. So if somebody wants to say that my video sucks. Usually they're right. Usually, you know, I do the best with what I got. Obviously, I would like a better light, better flashlight, better camera, etc. But you know, I got what I got. So I do what I can. I even have one video. It's like this. I was crawling through a cave. Anyway, I was out of shape because it was like the first cave I did after winter. So after going months without caving, it was my first cave. And I was carrying two flashlights and two cameras at the same time. I got out of wind. So they were like making fun of me for being out of wind. It's like, yeah, sorry, I'm not Superman. Us mere mortals, we have to work for our adventures. <sighs> okay, so here's the part where I get to climb over the top. <sighs> At least it's easy to climb up each side. It's not like I have to jump up or rope up or anything creepy. I'm gonna have to send my backpack up first. Oops. Oops. Darn it. Cool thing about this gimbal, if I bump it into a different position, it will stay there. As opposed to just erroring out. If I work it too hard, it'll error out, but I've gotten good at kind of holding still somewhat. There's the way down there to the right where it's too dark to see, but uh, that's just a matter of me moving towards it. Getting my flashlight all adjusted. there to the left the good news is up here at the top there's room for like two people side by side so if for some reason there was a beginning caver you give them plenty of hints how to get through so, you know if a cave is super tight you have to go one person at a time probably don't want to take a beginner if he gets himself stuck then everybody is stuck whoops The 
thing about the caves, the floor is very uneven. I mean, look at this. Where I'm standing, kneeling actually, there's a hole several feet down. So if I wasn't ready for that, I put my foot down, then wow, that could hurt. So a lot of caving is really just high difficulty walking. Should be obvious, a lot of people manage to walk down the sidewalk without really paying attention to what they're doing. But yeah, here you don't have a choice. If you don't pay attention, it's gonna hurt you really bad. Okay, you know what? The battery on my camera is almost dead. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here so that I can um, switch flashlights and switch batteries in my camera because yeah, yeah, it's just a good place to do it.